Hi, it's me, your boyfriend slash girlfriend slash day friends, favorite content creator. And it's late. It's uh ten fifty two PM on the last day of July as I am recording this. And I just wanted to record this now because I don't know if I'm gonna be in the right frame of mind when I go to sleep and wake up and try this again. I just finished watching the most critical situation is crazy video from most critical. Um, I commend him from using the same format, no matter who the subject matter is, like congratulations, uh, critical, but watching that video and then see like the bits of the debate with Sneeko, this video is going to be largely about Sneeko, by the way, I don't understand how you can be a fan of Sneeko or like Dr. Disrespect or pretty much anyone who has admitted to or at the very least is like against the age of consent. Like, I don't understand how you guys can be fans and support them and then be surprised that people call you pedophiles because like, that's the only conclusion I can reach. Starting with Sneeko, the guy who on multiple occasions talked about how he's the number one cuties fan, the guy who doesn't like the age of consent at all thinks that a adult is just someone who's gone through puberty. You ever deal with those people where the dictionary definition of something is the only definition that matters and not how that definition has been used like socially or culturally? That's who Sneeko is. Because while an adult may be by many different standards, just someone who's fully grown, what is considered fully grown isn't just from a biological standpoint, right? Because in the video, Critical talks about how he was an example of like, what if a child's 12 went to puberty? And Sneeko was like, yeah, that's fine. What if I, so why, why can't a 12 year old marry an 18 year old? Because most 12 year olds haven't gone through puberty yet. And most 12 year olds, okay. what if they, as you just said, it changes. What if a 12 year old went through puberty early, the parents consent, the 18 year old and the parents consent, can they do it? Most likely that's not going to happen. You know why? Because Islamically, well, if, if we're the, not talking most likely, just say it. If why? the families have consented, the kid is mature, the kid is ready. Why should I stop at 12 it? years old at 12 years old? If the kid is, is if the kid is physically mature, the parents consent. Both parties are happy. A 12 year old being physically mature. If it's that's the only that's the only line that actually makes sense because they went through puberty. Because if you go through puberty, according to Sneeko, once you go through puberty, you're an adult. That's it. Nothing to do with your experience, your uh, mental capacity, nothing psychological, purely physical. By that logic, if you went through puberty at like, if you're a girl at 11, Sneeko thinks you're ready for marriage and ready for marriage means ready for procreation. And he doesn't care if the guy is 20, 30 years old, doesn't matter because you're ready. That's fucking disgusting. Like, I don't. If you were going to the hospital, going to a doctor, and then he's an adult, he's, a, he's an adult man, and you're like, all right, cool, you're going to a doctor, and it's fucking Doogie Hauser. And if you're too young to my reference, he's 13. Would you be like, that's a responsible adult right there? Probably not. I would say probably not. I would not trust a 16 year old. Dude, I barely trust like 23 year olds to be responsible, and those are adult adults. I don't trust a 16 year old to be responsible. We've all been 16 before. Would you have trust your 16 year old self with your adult responsibilities now? Do you trust your 16 year old self to uh, pay your bills on time, to budget, to get groceries, to go to the doctors, to schedule necessary appointments, all those things you trust your 16, 15, 14, 13, 12 year old self to do that? I'll tell you straight up, even though I'm a different case than most people, when I was 16, I was in college, but I was still 16. I was not responsible. I would let shit just pile up because I'm 16. What do I really fucking know? I don't know how to do taxes. I don't know any of that shit. And you're trying to convince me that a fucking 12 year old because they went through puberty as an adult. This isn't this isn't a fucking anime where like 13 year olds are just as smart and responsible as 30 year olds. No, this is real life. That's fucking disgusting. I don't understand how I saw so much vitriol for critical for simply stating that if a child wants to transition and the parents are on board with that, then they should be allowed to do that. Why is that getting flack? But Sneeko 
out here promoting underage marriage, which involves underage marriage activities. And he probably just like base, 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 base. Good job. Good job. No, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Like when did the internet like get so openly accepting a pedophilia? Like when did this happen? Because switching gears a little bit now, Dr. Disrespect, the guy who admitted, he admitted to messaging a minor explicitly through whispering, through all this other shit with the intent of meeting up. And only reason he didn't do it is because he got caught with a minor, someone underage. And people are trying to be like, well, what if they're just 17? Who fucking cares? Still minor, still underage. A 17 year old is also, I would not consider an adult. And if we're going to be clear, just me personally, like my morals, I don't think 18 year olds are adults either. I think like when you're average teens, you should be considered an adult, like 20 years old. But 18 is the general consensus across the globe with some few exceptions. But that's fucking weird, by the way, too. People who know the exact age of consent in multiple countries, put them on a list. But Dr. Disrespect was messaging a fucking minor. And what's crazy to me is people are trying to make that excuse to work to 17. Why wouldn't he admit that then, right? Like if you wanted, to, if you already do something bad, wouldn't you try to make it as not bad as possible? Like you show up late for work. Oh yeah, I was late, but I was only three minutes late to work. You wouldn't be like, yeah, I was late for work and let people think, were well, you late by like six hours or like a minute? You bet like, I was a minute late, a couple minutes late, right? But the fact that he just stated a minor, and then he edited it and then he edited it back, but it was just a minor. That should, that should mean something. But again, there's people who are defending him. And now that he's trying to mount a comeback when well, he's going to inevitably talk about how he's streaming on kick or rumble or whatever, and he's doing the alt right grift. I made a video about that. He's getting his audience primed for that. And there are people who were just like, bring him back firm handshakes all around. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Like, I'm dead serious. What the fuck happened? Is it because Elon took over Twitter and just made it a safe haven for all these crazy people? Like, just openly being like, yeah. Yeah, little kid's my thing. Love it. Like, disgusting. Going back to Sneeko. This guy has been so adamant about underage children. I am, I am shocked. I am shocked that he has not been just wrong the internet. Like that guy loves talking about under his children. He loves talking about the age of consent, how much he hates it. How do you think an adult is a 13 year old? It's an easy question. What do you think the age of consent should be, Sneeko? This is not an important conversation. No, it's, you don't think fucking kids are not as an important conversation? What do you think the age of consent should be? If you want to be consistent, you don't think anything updates, just tell us what you think it should be. I think it should be past age or at a developed age, Dustin. At a developed, what is a developed age? If it's you had to set a law age. for it, well, what would you set well, it, well, what would you answer, set it about? It's a, it's a developed age. No, answer the question, you fucking pussy. Holy shit, you're such a cowardly fuck. Stand up for what you believe in. If you actually are fucking Muslim, you're actually Islamic or whatever, then stand up for your fucking beliefs. If every other Muslim scholar online will do this. Do it. Stand tall on it. Don't act like a little pussy in here trying to grill fucking XQC on fucking on, on modern meta ethics or whatever. If you want to answer basic questions about your worldview, what should the age of consent be? You see how you see how you want to answer the question? You see how he's gonna yap and not answer the question? I'm gonna ask the I same just, thing when you're I done. Go ahead. The, I just answered the question. Told what you. was the age? I just told you at a developed age. Sneeko thinks you should be able to what, fuck what nine year olds. That? That's what Sneeko thinks, and he won't answer that question honestly. Or he's gonna have to give a different answer, in which case he's updated his morality. He's updated his views, and that's really uncomfortable for him. You don't have an answer to any of this shit, bro. Go back to fucking uh, that fucking corner in London where you're getting roasted by year one debaters on fucking Christianity. Age of consent should be maturity. It's not even 18 in most states. Why do you even believe that? It's because in Hollywood, it's 18, so that gets pushed everywhere. Most places succeed. And if you question that, then they call you a pedo. I believe the age of consent is the age of maturity. It should be called the age of marriage. Age of consent implies that you're gonna have s out of wedlock. I think it's better that people get married at 16, 17, than to have a bunch of premarital s until they're 30 and they're washed up and then they get jaded and they're on birth control and they have dried up eggs. I think that's better for society. How is it that by that logic, they're an adult, they can be married, but can't choose to transition? And then the video is talking about like, oh, he thinks transitioning is literally uh, someone just takes a genitalia. If you have male genitalia, and that's it. That's it. That there's no therapy. 
whether it's hormonal or like actual therapy. There's no long conversations about potential outlooks of life, all these things and nothing. Just, yeah, they're just chopping them off. Do you believe that somebody can go through a uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay. So as long as everyone- your parents, are okay with it and you are okay with it i am i think that's totally a familiar decision to make yeah okay so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever but they can't get married oh well, that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party so if you have someone that's your age coming in saying i want to marry that child i yep i don't think that can happen under any circumstance so you, no. but it's still a personal decision you're still deciding. Take the other it's party out of the equation. It's a personal it's decision. If I'm, or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful, she's 21 years old, her family wants to do it, my family wants to do it. You're saying, I can't do that. We're both consenting, I'm ready to go, I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's, that woman's a pedophile. But if then, the next day I leave it, I'm depressed, I want to cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete, yep, I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Oh. You want people to chop their dicks off? Wow, dude, you must hate children. Bitch, you hate children. Because you want them to be adults so quickly, you want to deny them their childhood. I am a staunch supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. Always have been, always will be. I'm also a staunch supporter of protecting children. Sneeko should not be around children because Sneeko thinks the minute a girl goes through puberty, she's an adult. Therefore, if her parents want to marry her off to a fucking 30 year old man, because we're back in the 1800s and he's a Lord and they need land that it's okay. Not okay. Not fucking okay at all. This person is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. Who cares? That is way too young. You, you, you want someone who doesn't have a fucking learner's permit to be someone's like wife and potentially a mother. Are you insane? And people are supporting him. But then people are coming for critical or people like critical who are supportive of trans kids and trans communities. Like we're like we're the ones who are who are who are being strange here. I have never once looked at a fucking child and was like, marriage material. Clearly Sneeko has. I have never used my granted, I have zero influence, but I've never exerted any sort of influence on children to sort of get them to meet I me. Mean, that's disgusting. I used to work at a school. I was a uh, uh, a pair out of school. I, the, 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 the idea to message someone underage or to like try to see it's, it's so reprehensible to me. I made this video. I'm ranting. I've been yapping for 10 fucking minutes. It's 11 o'clock at night. I just finished the video. I am so pissed at this shit. Why are we allowing these people to have platforms? Why? Why, why, why? Does Dr. Disrespect garner so much uh, fandom? Because what, he plays fucking video games? Okay. There's this weird notion of people where it's like, oh, this person does this one thing, therefore they're exempt from any consequence. Oh, Mr. Beast, he doesn't exploit people in order to make money through videos because he donates and he builds wells. So he's allowed to do that, you're just jealous. And yes, speaking of Mr. Beast, like I said in my other video, I think the shit Ava has done is fucked up. Extremely fucked up, just like Sneeko, just like Dr. Disrespect. And I will reiterate once again, I don't think Ava's faults should be pinned on the entirety of the transgender community. That's fucking weird. Because how could you guys have that kind of smoke for Ava and then have none of that smoke for Sneeko and not even half of that smoke for Dr. Disrespect? Sneeko's out here trying to get the age of consent lowered down to fucking like six or not exist at all. Dr. Disrespect was literally trying to meet up with the minor. I don't know how many times I have to say that. 
Abel was being fucking weird on chats and discords with people. That's bad. All bad. But like I said before, and I'll say it again. You cannot lay the blame of one person's action on the entire community. Because guess what? Dr. Disrespect, not only is he a white dude, he's also 6'8". I'm 6'8". He's also a cis dude. I'm a cis dude. And he's also a gamer. I'm a gamer. So are now all gamers, all six foot eight people, all white guys, all cis people, are they all are, we all are predators now because of his actions? What about Sneeko? I think Sneeko's from New York. If you're from New York, are you all predators? Are you all cuties fans? Do you all support having no age of consent? Do you all think an adult is just someone who went through puberty? It's fucking stupid. But you guys keep doing this shit. And then you keep supporting people like that. Like what? What is what is going on in your life where you think Doctor Disrespect and Sneaker are so fucking crucial that you need them to be around? I think they should get the fuck off the internet, and that's as much as I can say without the police knocking on my door. But for the shit that they're into and what they've been doing, and for y'all to just be cool with that shit, that's fucked up. That's fucking disgusting. Like, I still can't believe, like, Critical was getting all this shit because all, all he said was trans kids should be able to transition and, you know, an adult's not someone with fucking puberty. That's not it. That's that's such a that's such an idiotic statement to make, too, right? Like, we know that innately. Again, because puberty starts at different times for different people. What if you have delayed puberty? Hmm? What about that? Like, let's say you're a different kind of person. You do pretty late, late bloomer. You do pretty like, like 18, 19. Are you, are you now just now an adult? What well, if you're 20? Are you just now an adult? Or are you still not an adult? You know what I mean? Like, are you not an adult until you have puberty? Women go through puberty at crazy times. 11, 12, 13. Are they adults? Are they responsible? That's someone you, you want someone to do someone's mother? We didn't have, used to have like a huge teen pregnancy epidemic and how that was bad for everyone because they're children having children. That's, that's what you want. Like you're okay with a married man pushing fucking 40 messaging a minor with the intent to hook up with them. You're all right with that. That sits good in your spirit. You want th those people to make millions of dollars off of you and have platforms. That's the shit that you're fucking saying. In fucking sane. Here's 14. Yeah. If you were 14 and you were ready to go and you, you met another 14 year old, yes, I would. No, 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 no. We're talking adults. You, you keep going back to that. That is adult. I met physic. I, I, I told you my definition. Oh, so, oh, I, I told you oh, the oh, definition. The definition.